Good morning, welcome to a morning review on Wednesday the 3rd of December. This is Kim Watson speaking for Easy Trader. Okay, looking at the Euro dollar first. And we've uh, basically yesterday uh, sold off uh, almost back down to the very lows there. Um, I think if we start moving back towards the area, we've got to be very careful because, uh, well, you may get a th third bounce, but uh, it's... Uh, some thin ice there and uh we we could if we if we start breaking that area see a, a bigger correction i've I've left the previous channel on there because we never really got the move I would have expected from that in terms of a one to one in terms of the depth so I'm still expecting it to potentially come down to the one twenty two sort of zone uh still a possibility um but uh obviously uh there's uh movement to be had before then and looking at uh, yesterday's quite harsh sell i'm not uh, being i wouldn't be surprised if we do see a bit of a bounce this morning particularly uh we've got the uh, daily pivot above us at 124.11.3 so there's a possibility of that being hit um plenty of resistance on the way there now um it's not quite as not massively clear but a break of this sort of level here may may sort of give us a uh, that 21 ma that's just sort of sitting there whoops uh, may just see us uh push up and uh give us a sort of a more heads up towards that p uh, pivot but uh at the moment it's uh it is looking relatively weak um as i say we the, the the alternative is that we come down we do the triple bottom on the dailies uh watch what's happening there we may get a bounce off that back to this pivot um if not if it starts failing well got to be on the short side so for now neutral ish with the potential um a further downside if it uh, breaks the lows if it manages to push up a little bit from here safe safe uh, properly uh looking for the break of that high there and running it back towards the pivot cable looking at the pound dollar then um and um, it didn't sell off quite as much we've already had a triple bottom um, if it does come back to the bottoms at some point um, again it's uh, it's that sort of uh, chance that it will will start breaking uh, short term we're sort of putting in this sort of bear flag sort of pattern but it could pull up some more yet with the daily pivot there at uh, 156.70 so we've got the potential for that to break up shorter term if i'm looking at this i'll just simply uh, be looking for the shorts below this trend line so uh, pretty simple really um so if it breaks the uh, the lower trend line be looking for shorts at the moment uh erring just on the on the bullish side so that pivots hit and then we'll re review the market still um from the bigger picture here we're in a, in a um uh, in, in, in a downward trend, strong downward trend. Really, it's uh, uh, in, from a four hourly perspective. Uh, daily, well, it's still consolidating, uh, but we're in a, a consolidated downward zone. So uh, overall, got to be got to remain bearish. Now, plenty of news coming out today. Um, at nine thirty, we've got the UK um, services PMI, which will obviously uh, or potentially could affect the pound. But uh, we've seen very small moves off these PMI figures this week so far. Um, we saw, I think, it was a twenty-two pip move last month on the uh, services. So not expecting massive moves on that, particularly as we've got the autumn budget statement coming out uh, from the Chancellor at twelve thirty. So. Um, I would expect more action probably around that and uh, may actually be bullish in terms of uh, he's going to be putting in the last uh, statement really uh, one of the last statements before um, the election and it will probably be a bit of a rah-rah speech so um, we'll see um, uh, it may it may do the pound some good although a lot of traders will probably already be building that into the market um, we got US uh, non uh, non manufacturing PMI at three o'clock as well. Not a massive mover, uh, but it may see a bit of increased volatility on the pound and the euro at around about three. So um, really, um, that's uh, yeah, that's it on the pound for now. I'd look a quick look at dollar yen then. 
Uh, again, we still, as I said earlier in the week, we still got this uh, monthly pivot below us, which may have some sort of draw. Um, we we certainly get into the uh, overbought sort of areas. Whoops, wrong one. There you go, overbought. But there is some divergence running across on the on the dailies there. So at some point it could soften, but the closer it gets to 120, the the, the bigger the draw and the possibly the more potential it is to get up to that sort of area at the moment though we've got the uh, daily pivot below us at 118 um, which uh, was at 11891 so around about the 11890 somewhere in that region which if we do sit, start seeing it break down and it's simply uh, watching watching really across these lows here if it starts breaking those lows uh, would we'll be looking to play for that pivot um, at the moment though if it gets a, an edge on you've got to be watching for the upside here it's, a, it's in a in a very clean upward trend on these alleys for high lows high highs um, and it could run up to that uh, the uh, uh, daily r1 area there it's just short at 119.57 so getting closer and closer to that 11, uh, 120 area Okay, um, so it's the risk always on the end at the moment is to the upside in terms of uh, it, it can surge up there quite quickly. Right, that's it for me. Hope you have a great day. Bye for now.